Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. And finally, we have completed a subscriber family of 1000. Okay, so let's get started with our today's video. So today we are going to go ahead and look at how can we create a Google Cloud Vision API. Now this API is really important and it is needed in case if you want to use package of Google Vision in UiPath. So before that, let's go ahead and let's try to look at how can we create that API. So let's navigate to Google Chrome first and navigate to the cloud platform. Now you need to log in to console.cloud.google.com. Now, once you log into this URL, we just need to remove this one. This is your URL, console.cloud.google.com. Once you log in, so as I'm already logged in, I'm navigating, I've navigated to my this project, but I want to change the Gmail address. So I will log in with some different Gmail. Okay. Now, once I have, uh, once I'm logged in here, all I need to do is simply, so this is digital instruct, perfect. All I need to do is simply click on the select project, click on new project. Now type here the name of your project. So let's say we, we want to go ahead and find out the web searches. We are going to use it for web search. So we are creating a project called as web search here, which is going to use cloud vision. Okay. And we are going to say create. Now, once we say create, it is going to go ahead and create a project called as web search cloud vision. And the project is ready. Now let's select the project. Perfect. So we are in web search cloud vision project. Now, once we are in this project, all we need to do is click on API services. And once we click on API services, <clears throat> we need to enable the APIs and services. So to enable the API and services, click on enable. Once you're in here, the API we need is Google Cloud Vision API. So click on Cloud Vision API. You have several APIs available. I, all I need to do is click on enable. So this is now getting enabled. And it will take some seconds. Okay, perfect. Now it is enabled. And <clears throat> as you can see here, disable API. That means the API is now enabled. And now we need to create credentials for it. So we will go ahead and create API credentials. So there are three types of credentials which you can create. One is API key, another is client ID, and the third one is service account. All these three you can utilize to use Cloud Vision activity package in UiPath. Now we need API key. So I'm going to go ahead and click on API key right here. So the name of the API key is cloud vision. API restrictions are application restrictions, none API restrictions. So which API do I want to use? I want to use cloud vision API. I'm going to select under API restrictions and I'm going to say create. And that's all about it. Oh, it will take a couple of seconds and here you go. Now I have my API key, which I can simply copy it from here and I can use it in my UiPath project for any of my Google Cloud Vision applications. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in the next video, we will see how can we use and leverage this API key to find web search for a specific image. Isn't that sound wonderful? So let's go ahead and let's see you in our next video. Till the time, happy automation.